Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use a doghouse and convert it into a feral cat shelter using the Petmate Barn Home 3 and scissors, this is some kind of metal tape, and reflect text for the installation. Bought this doghouse on Amazon, so when it comes, it's just in two pieces and it's zip tied to keep it together. So you use your scissors to cut the zip ties and you can separate the pieces. So this opening might be wider than some other shelters that you can make, but I have a fat cat in my yard, so I, I wanted a bigger size. And these shelters will be placed inside a shed, so I felt like it could be a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to take the Reflectex, which this is insulation some kind of coating on it. it looks like bubble wrap. Look at this end. So this insulation will reflect the cat's heat back onto it and help it stay warm. So I'm going to cut out sizes the same as the top and bottom. On the top of this there's a little air vent so I will leave a space for that. When working with the tape, I think I will use gloves on one hand just to help smooth out the tape. So now I have the bottom lined and the top. And these two halves will just snap together sort of. You can see there's little holes. And there we have it. We have a doghouse converted to a feral cat shelter using the insulation. You can see in the back I left the air hole. Didn't cover that up just so the cats can get some circulation. And I'm gonna put this inside of a shed. If you're putting it outdoors somewhere you might want to just do something extra to make sure the entrance is covered enough so that rain and snow don't get in. So some cats prefer two entrances into their feral cat house. So with the same dog house you can have two entrances simply by turning the, the orientation of the top of the house before you put it on. You'll have one in the bottom and then another one in the top. Just to make sure you do something extra to cover the entrances to make sure rain and snow isn't getting in. So once it gets a little bit colder out I will put straw inside all of the houses and that will help the cat stay even warmer. I think these houses would hold about two cats or maybe three if they wanted to be really cozy or they were small. And there you have it. That's how you make a dog house into a feral cat shelter.